Hey everybody, welcome back to Rick's Tech Talk. Today we're going to go over the white trailer hooked up to an electric bike and we're going to take it out for a quick spin. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a couple accessories that I got for it. So there's a couple of things that I learned about getting my daughter inside this thing. And there's two ways of doing it. You can basically hook it up right away, or you can have it just sitting on the ground like this. You can enable your brake in the back. So you just push down slightly and it locks the wheels in. And it's just more secure now. Now, if it's on the bike, you have to worry about, you know, the bike, make sure the bike's not gonna move. So I think the best, if you have to help somebody get inside this thing, is to put the brake on in the back and set this down. That way it's nice and solid and it's, it's just sturdier that way. Now the top actually collapses back and that's so you can help somebody get inside. My daughter is uh, recovering from surgery. She had a, a bump on her head and it got infected so they took it out so she's got stitches up there so she won't be joining us today if i do take her for a ride it'll be just up and down the street with no helmet on so she can't wear a helmet so we won't be going very far the cool thing about this trailer is that it has a huge storage compartment in the back so i can take this and just slide that in the back okay so that's out of the way so let me go get our uh volunteer that's gonna help us demonstrate on how to get a heavy person inside of this so let me let me go get him real quick all right so this is teddy he's going to be helping us and we'll get teddy inside here teddy i think you need to lose a little weight there buddy so once you got him in there safely then you can strap him in and then you can bring the top back up you cannot use this trailer with that piece collapsed back so wick says the design is to have that forward it acts like kind of like a roll cage. So if it tips, that bar and the fabric will protect the person inside. So you definitely do not want to ride with this all the way back like this. So it's meant to kind of tuck around. I had it tucked on the inside. So basically, I'm get Teddy's head back in there, pull our bar forward, and there's Velcros on the side here that hold the bar. So we're just gonna get those on. Okay. So these basically would be on the outside. I just probably didn't have that prepped very well to get somebody in there. So again, I'm just doing the Velcro straps up at the top corners here. And they go around that bar. And then there is a zipper here. And you can zip that up. You can see it starting to take shape. And there's also this Velcro piece here, it goes into the loop, and then you can pull that tight. And then you can zip it up the rest of the way. There we go, all the way done. Do the other side. So I think it's best to actually put the Velcro on first. You're gonna tighten that up. That helps the zipper come forward. Okay, that's all zipped up, so it's pretty much back to normal. So Teddy's in, and we could put our screen on, which is just rolled up right here. We have not used this with just the screen down yet. Yeah, if I remember right, there's just the three Velcro pieces that hold that up there. This comes down. Okay. Teddy is now protected from any mosquitoes, which is really nice. We'll grab our locking pin here. Pull this forward, put it in place. Drop our pin in. You want to make sure that you have the strap on. That's like the biggest thing. Make sure the strap, you use it, make sure it's there. And if we go back to this part with the bracket, if you don't have enough threads here, uh, Wick told me that they have someone that can help you out. His name is Robert Axel Projects. 
I believe. I'll find it and I'll put the link down in the description, but they refer all their customers to him in case their brackets don't fit certain type of electric bikes. So electric bikes don't usually have enough threads coming off after they put the bolt on, just because of the size of everything. So you can check with him and he can probably help you out. We're gonna take this thing out for a quick ride. I don't know how well this is gonna work. I'll do a couple of videos of me passing by and maybe I can carry the camera with me and show you how to use it. Now, if my daughter was in the back, she could probably actually film some for us, but since I don't wanna put that helmet on her and you know it's kind of windy anyways, so let's just not take her out. I'll see what kind of footage I can get. It's no more than 12 miles per hour. Yes, it can go faster and it's very stable, it's not going to like shake or anything like that. This thing's very well built, but again, don't go over 12, 12 miles per hour. You really don't need to go that fast with a person in the back. Okay, so let's take this for a ride. So here we have our bike stroller piece all latched up. This will be interesting. I've never done this. I've never filmed myself and rode a bike at the same time. So let's see how this goes. So again, uh, it'd be kind of hard to get this you know, moving. So I'm just gonna use a little throttle and get myself going here. We're gonna go right across the lawn. Gotta take Teddy for a ride. <laughs> and so right now I'm not pedaling at all. I'm just using the throttle. I'm going over at 12 miles per hour. It is very windy out. So these fat tire bikes are pretty nice, but I wish the tires weren't so wide. I believe these are four inch tires. I don't need it, but it does make the ride a lot smoother, especially if you let a little air out. So they're kind of like shocks in a way. Yeah, every time I pull that throttle, a bike wants to pull me forward, which isn't good when considering I only have one hand on the handlebars. So if we stop here, and I need to get going, I can just use the throttle. I don't have to start pedaling. And I forgot to downshift when I stopped. So basically I'll just hit the throttle, get going. I don't even have to downshift. I'm back up to speed already. I can just start pedaling. Like I said, you can be lazy with this and just use the throttle the whole time. If you just want to take your kid out for a spin or a loved one, you just put them in the back. You don't know, take them out, get some, get some fresh air. Me? <laughs> I need the exercise. So right now I'm actually pedaling pretty good. But at the same time, this thing is still helping me a little bit. Okay, so we got a hill coming up. And another nice thing about having an electric bike is the hills. So I'm hitting the throttle. And no problem at all. So again, use the throttle to get going here. Get it up to speed, let off on the throttle, now I can pedal. You wouldn't want to take off in this gear by pedaling. So basically just give it a little throttle. There I go. Okay, so now we're gonna go over two accessories that one of my YouTube followers sent me. And I am not paid to show these off in any way. These were a gift from, again, one of my YouTube followers. This is the cover. This is brand new. I have not opened this up yet. So this is great for me because I do a lot of woodworking and I like to sand, saw, and maybe I have this guy sitting in my garage. So I can just throw this up over the top here. And it keeps that plastic clean and 
keeps the inside dust free. There is a little strap here. Looks like this goes through here. Pull that tight, maybe. Down like that. Maybe this slides like this. that through here loop it through and then you got a couple of straps on the back cinch it up a little bit but there you go nice cover keep it nice and clean for someone like me so let's take this guy off this is really nice oh, it's it's nice thick quality now the other item that I have is a carry bag well storage bag I would say this would be good for maybe winter time. Um, actually, let's stand it up. Stand it up like so. You can't stand it up on this side because of the brake. And we'll just drop the bag over it. Oh, that's why it's not going on so well. I still got the straps on to pull it tight. There we go. Lay that back down. Tuck our corners in last. Velcro our strap. So this is made for the large and the extra large. That our end pieces have these buckles here to help pull it tight. Okay. Just like so. Then you also have some on the sides. And then you can pull those tight. That's what I didn't do on the other side. I forgot to take that one buckle off. Yeah, see I had that buckle on too. There we go. There we go. So I just want to let you know, we do have a video coming out for the bike. We have two of those electric XP bikes and I'm gonna give you a full honest review about the bike. And I would say 80% of the videos out there are paid, meaning that they receive the bike for free. I did not receive the bike for free. I purchased it with my own money. So you're gonna get a very honest review video about the bike. So make sure you keep looking for that video, hopefully in a month or so, and we'll have that out. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna try to uh, fold this thing up and get it back in the bag for now. Uh, so again, give me a thumbs up, like the video, you know, we really appreciate it. And maybe next time my daughter will be out here riding around with us after she uh, gets her stitches out of her head. All right. Thanks again for watching. Have a good day. Oh, that was fun. Thanks for helping me. Do I have to pay you? We should go for another bike ride. Maybe we can pick up some ladies. Who doesn't love a teddy, right? <laughs>